since we are talking about languages, we are talking just now about speaking Italian and English and other languages, we cannot overlook the fact you have an Instagram page, a project of teaching magical English to Portuguese-speaking Brazilians. For anyone that doesn't yeah. know, we speak Portuguese in Brazil. That might be shocking, yeah, I know, but yes, we do. <laughs> <laughs> It might happen, we never know. <laughs> Yes, yes. Um, I'm very passionate about teaching. Um, it is one of the things, it, it is one of my main interests. Repeating again, I love many things and this particular thing, teaching, is one of my main um, passions in life. So whether it's medicine, whether it's English, whether it is medicine in English or in Portuguese, it is one of my biggest passions. And I started this project during the pandemics and I never knew that it could get this, uh, not big because I'm not huge, but this, that it could take up this much time in my life. And it, I never thought that it would be something that I would love so much to dedicate myself to. But this is the thing about getting to know yourself right? Um, you start finding out things that you enjoy and things that you want to improve and things that you want to work on. And I think that it only happens when you're open. So I remember starting and I knew I, you know, started to talk to you and develop this friendship that we today have because of this. And this happens with a lot of people that I end up uh, connecting with. It happens because of this project that I have. So I think that when we are open, right? When we are open to knowing ourselves better and to um, basically trying out new things and things I never thought I was gonna be a medical English teacher. Um, I had been a teacher before at an English school when I was 18. Um, But I never thought I would be an English teacher again, let alone be an English, uh, medical English teacher. So things happen when we are open and even talking about these abroad experiences that we talked about today. Um, I think people should be open to having these experiences because you learn so much from them. And I think this is what happened with the, the page that I created. And now I have many dreams and plans and things related to this page that I never thought that I would have, right? So yeah, this is basically it about the page. What was the turning point for you to start your page? I can say that for me, it was when I was studying for the USMLE and I saw, yeah. for example, infectious diseases. And I said that I saw that Uh, measles can also be called rubella, and rubella in Portuguese means rubella, which can also be yeah. called German measles. And by that time, I was already fed up with it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And, uh, and I said, well, I'm, I'm going to make a video to clear this up, even for myself. I, I need to yeah. put it into, into something solid, into some media to, to clear it up for myself and if applicable to any others. And that, yeah. that was the very beginning. Yeah. In my case, it was basically because I was at a time of my life that I wanted to produce content in social media. I think it was the whole pandemic thing that people wanted to uh, start creating content. So I wanted to create content, didn't know what to create. And then there was... Um, I started to, I created an Instagram and I started to create mental health content, very random, but I enjoyed mental health a lot at that time. And then there was a time in which the content was very random. And then I saw this um, prompter challenge. I don't know if you know what a teleprompter is. It's yes. when- Yes, uh, well, news, I do, I don't, I don't know if the public does. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. So tell I there was this prompter test in which you had to read really fast this this text um as if you were uh, a news um presenter. reporter, for example. Yeah, news presenter. 
And then I did it and a lot of people started to compliment my English. And then I was like, oh, I've, I was an English teacher in the past. Maybe I could produce English content. And then a friend saw it and he was like, well, you are a medical student. Why don't you put those two things together? And I was like, okay. And then that's how it started, basically. Yeah, it's really fun uh, teaching and working with the internet. Here we are on a Monday afternoon. We've been talking, I'm here sitting, we've been talking for two hours and can, I can write this off as work. Yeah. I've been working really hard this afternoon. It's, uh, I could say something very similar about the animations, even though, even though it takes sometimes a lot of effort, it's quite fun. And to all purposes and effects, it is work, it is a serious work. So it, it, it is something really fun, really interesting to do. And I saw you mention today on your Instagram, of course, for the most obvious purposes, right before our talk, I stalked you to see if you had any new announcement I should talk <laughs> about or anything like this. And of course you do. Uh, you created great suspense about something you are going to announce. And well, you are going to announce it tomorrow for me. However, this podcast is only airing one week from now. That's so true. if you want to comment on your announcement, today is actually July 11th, that is not true. July 3rd. So would you like to mention what was the great announcement you made one week ago? True, true. Um, well, the announcement is, and I thank you so much for the opportunity of talking about this in your channel. Uh, on your channel because you know it's I admire your work so much and it's such an honor to be here um, basically I'm creating a community it, it is called May community and M-E-I stands for Medicina en Inglés which the translation would be medicine in English which is the name of my page on Instagram so the name of this community will be May May community. Um, and basically, I'm, the intention is to create a space, to create um, an area, to create a community where people that want to study medicine in English go to study. So basically, I want to make videos about conditions, about diseases, and very practical situations and very practical videos about each one of those conditions. And as a learning place, obviously, it is a place for people to learn the medical terms in English. So there will be quizzes, there will be summaries and, um, you know, tools for people to learn. And, you know, we will have a recorded class every 15 days, but on the week that we don't have um, a recorded class being released, we will have a live class in which people will be able to ask questions about the class that they have just watched. But it is an ongoing thing. So I didn't want to call it a course or a training because it just doesn't have an ending. Medicine doesn't have an ending, in my opinion. And I think, you know, everyone thinks this too. It, there's just not, not an ending. You just can keep studying. So I want to keep it as an ongoing thing. And that's why I want to call it a community, because also I want people to connect and to make, um, you know, to network amongst them and to have my support to do that as well, to have my I, I'm going to be there all the time. I'm going to answer people in a WhatsApp group. So basically, this is what I'm going to announce. I'm going to announce the waiting list today, not today. I have announced the waiting list on July 3rd. Today is July 11th. I am, I am going to have announced it. <laughs> yes, I'm going to have announced the waiting list, but the actual launching will be on July 17th, next Monday. <laughs> next Monday, counting that today is July 11th. <laughs> Are you heavily targeting it towards Brazilians or are you planning on growing it on a more global uh, scale, on a more global level? 
Well, definitely it would be amazing to have people from other countries and the course will be basically in English. I am actually going to tell people that follow me on Instagram, my public in general, I'm going to tell them and let them know um, that it is an advanced course. So I want people to have a basic notion, a basic understanding of English, of course. So the course will be mainly in English. There will be a video or two in the beginning in the introduction probably that will be me talking in Portuguese but definitely those videos that I told you about you know the the diseases the clinical cases the clinical scenarios all of that will be in English with English subtitles and for my you know Portuguese speaking public which is the majority of it I will give them a list of you know, um, the main words that were mentioned that probably are different and they probably might be out of their vocabulary. I will give them a list with translations, but the main idea is for people to be immersed in the course, immersed in English. So um, definitely if you are an English speaking um, health professional, and you want to be basically um, in touch with um, relevant discussions and relevant subjects inside of medicine and you want to learn more terms in medical English, it does make sense for you to be in this community, I would say. Relevant question, is it paid? Yes, it is paid, but it is a good price. It's gonna be a very good okay. price. I'm I'm serious. I I can be biased because I'm the one doing it, but I think it's very I'm going to tell you in dollars maybe because, you know, we have people from all over the world watching your channel. So dollars would be maybe the main, you know, coin. What do I say coin currency? The main currency that they might use um it would be I guess $300 for a year of access. So per month, it would be kind of, oh my God, I'm so bad at math. Uh, 300 divided by 12. Well, less than 10. Otherwise, 10 multiplied by 12. I mean, less than 30. <laughs> less than 30. That's what I mean. <laughs> less than 30. Uh, you know, that's why we yes, are involved yeah. in medicine. We don't need math. <laughs> I'm just kidding. We do need math a lot. But... You know, you, you practice CrossFit. Uh, Stephanie loved posting things about CrossFit some time ago. Yeah. I've also been doing CrossFit for like six months. Wow. And uh, Good to know. It, it's, and, uh, it's one of the most fun things that even at my CrossFit, for example, people usually call me Doctor. That's my nickname. Oh, nice. nice. <laughs> I've been nicknamed Doctor. But sometimes you are just putting the weight into the bar. And it's like, uh, how, how much weight do we have to put? It's like uh, 120 here in Brazil use, use kilograms, but you could just multiply it by two for pounds, for example. It's like 120, so, but how much does the bar weigh? 20, <laughs> so we, no, 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 go back. We, I think we missed it. Like, yeah. Let's count it again. Yes. And it's a no, for sure. I can promise. I went to medical school. I can promise. I can't. I I can't do basic math, but I could show your diploma. Show you my diploma. I was accepted, and I finished the course. I swear. Exactly. Even even though I'm failing at the most basic math. That's me. That's a hundred percent me. But anyways, it is less than 30. I think we are correct in this aspect. It is less than $30 per month. And what is less than $30? That's not even like a fancy lunch that you have, you know, at a restaurant. So I think it's not expensive. In my opinion, I think knowledge is something is the thing that we should invest the most in. So I think less than $30 per month is fair. Um, and it also is related to how much you value what you're going to get. But I honestly think, um, I don't honestly think, I honestly believe and 
you know, in my, in my very, very honest opinion, I am going to deliver something really good because I'm a perfectionist. So I'm doing my best with this. So I'm not going to deliver something, you know, like I'm going to do whatever and then charge you less than $30 just because it's cheap. And then I'm going to do whatever. No, I'm going to do something good. So it is cheap. In my opinion, it's very little, but I also understand that a lot of students especially spend a lot of money on courses and things like that. And just going to medical school is an, ex an expensive thing. So I wanted to be understanding of that. That's why I decided to charge not of too high of a, of a price, you know? I think it's fair. I think it's fair. What do you think? Yeah, what do you think see. as a, as a, you know, um, English, medical English teacher and doctor as well, medical doctor? Well, if anyone else doesn't know this already, I also offer private classes. I'm currently charging $20 an hour. I have no idea how much I'll be charging when you are watching this video. And my personal experience, uh, my audience is very widespread. Yeah. I have audiences in, uh, I have people in my audience in very different countries around the world. Yeah. And my personal experience is that the vision of cost is dramatically different based on where you are in the world. Yeah. I don't think it's expensive for a course in Brazil, for example. Yeah. Definitely not for the United States or Western Europe. I think it's a very reasonable price for Brazil, yeah. especially if you consider it will be a year-long yeah. uh, endeavor. I think it may be felt as expensive uh, in some countries that have devalued currencies. Yes. Uh, for I example, uh, we experience a bit of this in Brazil, but there are countries that devalue, uh, there are currencies that devalue far faster than ours. True. So I, I don't really want to cite countries here, but for example, in Southeast Asia, we have many countries that have rapidly devaluing currencies. Yeah. So in some countries, like pre uh, $300, yes, $300 in years might be too much even for a physician. Yeah. However, I do would like to point that from what I know about medical university prices around the world, yeah. uh, if we consider private for-profit universities, even in many of these countries, $300 would be relatively inexpensive when compared with the cost of attendance of med school. That's true. Yeah. Oh, that was true. a really long answer for your question. No, 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 <laughs> but I think it was perfect. I think all the, the, the things that you said are so accurate and so true, so true. And well, as I said, my main focus, my main public is Brazilian. So that's why I based the price on Brazilian people, but definitely I do have the intention of growing the course and focusing more on other, you know, students around the world. And then I would think of a different price perhaps. And from there I would, you know, just keep going, but it will be something of quality. That's for sure. That's something that I can assure you. The price will be in reais, right? So that's why, you know, but it is possible to sell to other countries because of the platform. They allow me to sell in dollars, for example. So it is possible for you guys to buy it if you want to. Um, but right now the price, you know, the value, the, the price value is just based on Brazilian, the Brazilian situation. But definitely when I grow the course a little bit more, and start focusing on other countries, definitely I will make some adjustments, but that's it for now. 